Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a complete factory reset of your Dell Latitude DE30 computer that is running the Windows 10 operating system. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin this tutorial off by opening up the Start menu. Once you've opened up the Start menu, you want to type in Reset. Best match should say reset this PC. You want to proceed to left click on that and be patient. It might take a second to load up the next screen. Now underneath recovery and reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on get started. Underneath choose an option, you have two options you're presented with. You can either keep your files or to remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. As well as remove everything, which remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. I personally believe the first option is a little bit misleading here, because even though it says keep your files, it's really going to be removing most programs and applications on your device. And depending on where you store your different programs and different documents, pictures more specifically, it might be removed as well, so I would highly recommend creating a backup on external media source. But for the purpose of this video, I want to do a complete factory reset, so I'm going to left click on remove everything here. And we are going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through to begin the process. Then you will be prompted if you want to clean the drives too. If you saw it, just remove your files. This is if you're going to be reusing your computer again. The second option, remove files and clean the drive, is if you're going to be donating your computer or giving it to somebody else to use. So it really depends, and the first option will be quicker as well. So for most people, the first option, at least at the time of this recording, should be sufficient. So I'm going to just select just remove my files. And we are going to be asked to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs changes made to settings, and again, this process will take a while. So once you left click on reset, sit back, relax, this will take a while. And once we get back to some prompts that require some user action, I will be back to narrate over.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So it looks like our Dell Latitude D830 computer has been restored back to factory settings. Feel free to go ahead and install any applications that are removed during the process if you chose to do so. Again, it's completely your choice, if whatever you want to put back on. And pretty much at that point, once you have everything set up, I would recommend creating a system restore point or a backup of your computer 
just as a good safe precaution and honestly it's just good practice that I feel like a lot of people don't do but you probably should do but anyway enough of that I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye